Hey guys, Red Pen Money here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. Okay, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Canon Avalon Q. I think there might be an optimization that we can do because this Avalon Q, all right, is, is upright, sitting upright like this, right? And so the heat is actually rising from the hash boards, which is in this area here and it is rising up into the power supply. Now the power supply, it feels like it's getting quite hot, all right, actually very hot, and even the power cable is getting hot as well. Everyone knows heat rises, so there's a considerable amount of heat that is coming out of the back of the Avalon Q from the hash boards in this section. So what I've been thinking of trying, and I wanna see if there's gonna be any difference, especially with the power consumption, okay, because the power supply is, I don't know, might be getting heat soaked and causing more resistance and pulling more power. So what I wanna try is to flip it upside down, all right, so the top, is gonna be this part and the bottom is gonna be this part. So I might switch the legs around as well, but unfortunately I think the screen will not be able to orientate the other way and everything was just gonna be, you know, upside down. But I'm doing that because, again, I want to see if that's gonna make any difference, but also cool down the power supply because, again, I think it's getting heat soaked. And I can show you here with my heat gun where majority of the heat is right so you can see on the front of the avalon q yeah there's there's obviously no not much heat there but when you go in through the back okay you can see that a lot of the heat is concentrated obviously out of the back but if you look at the top okay uh, actually the hottest part of the avalon q is going to be down where the hash board is okay so it looks like we're seeing what max 57 degrees this is in celsius okay celsius but as we go up the top here right the power cabling and whatnot is also pretty hot as well 54 53 degrees celsius uh center there shows uh right in the center 48 47 degrees celsius in that general area so i want to flip it over Okay, we're gonna see, all right, I'm gonna flip it over and see if that helps and also see if the power consumption drops. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'll see you guys right after a word from today's video sponsor. Looking to jump into crypto mining with confidence? Meet ASLminer.com, your gold standard supplier for all ASIC mining hardware. Founded in 2015, ASL Miner distributes top brands like Bitmain, What's Miner, Ice River, Canan, and now they are the official distributor of the new FluMiner L1 Pro Dogecoin miner, Flu Miner L2, and coming soon, the Flu Miner T3 Bitcoin Miner. They have multiple cryptocurrency payment methods, worldwide shipping, and world-class customer service to deal with customs and tariffs. ASL Miner makes the ASIC Miner buying experience easy. Visit ASLminer.com today and use code RPMRPM for $30 off your order for the lowest priced crypto miners today. Link down below. Okay, it's been about an hour. I just let this thing run because obviously I want things to, I guess, cool down in a sense. Uh, the heat is now going from, I guess, the top now. Majority of it is coming off from the hash boards, right? From the back up now. It's not going from like the bottom up into the power supply anymore. So the power supply is, you know, free from the heat from this essentially. So how does it look? okay at the heat gun here well as you can see right the heat is no longer going to the uh, top of the Avalon Q sorry to the power supply of the Avalon Q but you can see all the heat is now going to this area here right but now if we look at the bottom of the Avalon Q it is no longer you know that hot anymore it's not like heat soaking into the power supply. So it looks like the power supply is a lot cooler. It feels like it is performing better for sure than what it was before. You know what? I experienced the same thing with the gold shell E-KA1Ms and the DG1Ms, uh, the Echo Series gold shell ASICs. So it would actually overheat and shut down because 
I think it was because of the power supply. When I flipped it over, right, no longer the power supply was up here, it was now at the bottom, the machine was able to perform and still stay on, like the uh, Gold Shell Dogecoin miner. So I think having the power supply uh, at the bottom orientated like this is better in a sense you guys can let me know i thought this was a fun little test you guys can let me know if it made a difference for you or not or if you've you know you found the same thing regarding how the power supply was getting hot yeah like it's much cooler down here now compared to you know when it was up here so now i guess in a sense the hash board is getting hot but you know that was already inherently hot already because heat rises right so yeah the power consumption we were at i think 1410 before so we're at 1407 you know it only knocked off a couple watts right negligible but i think i think that helped and overall i think it's going to be better for the power supply long term so that it's not running so hot you know because it was getting the heat from the hashboard underneath right so no longer having the power supply up here it's not getting that that heat soak right and another good thing is is also the power cable won't be hit by the heat from the hash board as well. So that's another positive as to why I, uh, I think having the power supply orientated on the bottom is much, uh, is much better. But the sad thing is when you're looking at your Avalon Q like this, right? You're now going to see it, you know, the words are not going to be, there is no like geo sensor, I forgot what that's called, but basically to auto orientate the screen, it's, it's this way. So, I mean, that doesn't matter anyway. It's, it's a heater, it's a miner, and it's, uh, I have it solo mining to ckpool.org. But yeah, I think I'm gonna orientate all my Avalon cues this way now so that the power supply won't get hot. I think the people who designed the ASIC miners, like the big boy ones, or uh, this is not a big boy one, but you know, similar, the power supplies are on the side. Right, so the heat isn't being, you know, going up, right? Heat rises, so it's not really more so going into the uh, power supply, it's going on the side. But I just thought, what if people put their Avalon Q on the side, you know, instead of a uh, flat, you know, instead of having it, you know, like this? Maybe that would be better, but then, you know, power supply would be on the side. It'd be flat like this. I think depending where you're mining it, the, the table and whatnot could get hot. Maybe you would need, Maybe you would need higher standoffs to keep it elevated off the ground so that you know you can have a bit of space in between so that cooling can go down there depending on where you have it. I'm not quite sure, but I'm, I'm thinking this is a little bit better than what I had before. You guys can let me know, but otherwise, yeah, guys, I think uh, because winter's coming, it's good to uh, just, I was just troubleshooting. It's a, it's a good thing to see, you know, how hot these things could get and if we can optimize it better by having, you know, by just switching the orientation. Just kind of like what I've, I've experienced with the gold shell miners, having the power supply at the bottom so it doesn't get, doesn't get too hot from the uh, hash boards on the back. You guys let me know if that made a difference for you, just so that we can save our power supplies long term. I, I don't know if that's uh, making a difference or not. You guys let me know. All right, I'll see you all on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.